Now possibly the most fiddliest part of making the peony itself is actually the center. So I've got a 26 gauge wire here. I only need three pieces of it. So let's get rid of that little bit there. Now, I've cut those with a pair of wire snips, but you could easily have done it with a strong pair of scissors. I've got some pointy nose pliers here because I just want to give a little tiny hook to the end of each of those wires. So let's set those to one side a minute and we'll use those. Now here I've got some flour paste or gum paste, depending on what you call it where you're from. I'm going to roll it into three equal amounts approximately. And there you go. That's one. You could just go ahead and weigh these, but I find just judging them, I can look at them in a minute and go, oh, one's definitely bigger than the others, one isn't. I can see that one's bigger. There's, there's no science to this. I haven't got a measurement, I haven't got a guide. I'm just judging them as I go along. That's pretty much okay. Right. I'm using cornstarch on my hands because I do tend to have very hot hands, which causes some paste to be sticky. So I'm rolling it into a nicely pointed teardrop. Let's do that with each of them. There you go. And there you go. The next stage is I've got some edible glue here. I'm just going to pick up these wires, dip it in the edible glue, insert it into the bottom of the cone, give it a bit of a twist, and then make sure that the bottom is pinched out so it's nice and secure. The next thing I need to do is just give the top a bit of a turnover and pinch a little wedge down the back. There you go, so I've got the back pinched and the top curled over. That's one. I need to do this three times. In we go with that. Curl the top over. Give it a little pinch at the bottom and a pinch down the spine. One more time. Into the base, give it a bit of a twist to make sure it's secure. Curl over the top, give it a bit of a pinch down the back. The reason we're pinching down the back is because they're all gonna eventually be joined together in the center. But the next thing I need to do is just take a little bit of florist tape. I've cut this actually into thirds if you've got florist tape, it will only stick if you've stretched it. Okay, first thing I do is actually secure it around one of the center pieces. There you go, it's around there. Push it up and then very gently, remembering the paste is still soft, so you don't want to dislodge it totally. I'll remold this a little bit once I've got all of it taped together just to finish it off. So I'm going to wrap that round there. So it's nice and tight and work my way down the wires just to hold them all nicely in place all the way to the bottom. Once I've got that secured, I now go back up and I look at these three. They need to be equally positioned. I want to make sure I haven't distorted them too much. And those little curls need to be rotating outwards. So you're looking for something like that. Just make sure they're nice and securely together and that they have got three different angles at them. The next thing you need to do with that before you put it to dry is just get yourself a little bit of dust color. I find putting my dust colors in a palette a lot easier for me, but again, that's personal taste. I'm just gonna use a bit of green dust. This is actually foliage green, just to give the base a bit of shading. Then I'm gonna take a bit of vine green dust food color just to brighten up the centers a little bit, just to bring them to life. And then just to finish them off, I know later on that this is going to be a brightly colored peony. So I'm just gonna catch a little bit of that coral color on the end of these tips here. Just to bring all of that to life. Now, I would recommend doing these 24 hours in advance of you putting the stamens on, which is actually the next stage. So let's put that to one side. As I said, I would then leave that secure, put it into a bit of styrofoam, stand it up, let the air circulate it, and we'll come back to that in the next lesson for attaching the stamens.